You know, people are very cruel, aren't they, when they talk about His Majesty the King and his relationship with his mother, our former Queen Elizabeth II. You know, they often cite that she was distant, difficult, not very tactile, not very loving. And they always use that bit of footage, don't they, of when she returned back from a royal trip and then shook his hand. It was the Queen Mother, the late Queen Mother, that of course gave him a hug and all that sort of stuff. You have to remember, they were different times. Protocol was totally different too. And they weren't necessarily used to the world's camera picking in holes at absolutely everything that they did. Moving forward, of course, then, as he was, Prince Charles, apparently had a very difficult time at school and, you know, was bullied and didn't enjoy it and even contemplated for a while becoming an actor. That's right, he loved uh, behind the scenes, particularly doing production, but he did act in one or two plays while in college and at university. So, you know, again, you can understand the desire to be theatrical. It's interesting to note, though, as we move forward, we saw the relationship develop so much more warmly, didn't we, uh, on camera. I loved it when he referred to the Queen as mummy. <laughs> She didn't look none too pleased though, did she? I don't think she could step out of character when she was on the world stage. She was the monarch. It's what she'd been trained to do. But behind the scenes, as we saw, she was far more loving, far more fun, uh, had a great sense of humour, great mimic. Even the 45th President of the United States, Donald Trump, said that she did a very good impression of him. And for him to be able to say that says a lot about exactly what our wonderful late monarch was like. But it's this particular story that I wanted to share with you which truly shows just how much love and closeness there was between the late monarch and her eldest son, uh, now of course His Majesty King Charles III. You will have noted recently that uh, he's decided, and it's been revealed in the media, to pop up on this very heartwarming show. It's called The Repair Shop. It's where people take things in that have been battered and bruised and lost all hope of being repaired they create magic and hopefully repair them, you know, put them back to what they were, truly loved, whether it be a stuffed teddy or a broken down transistor radio of a loved one. It really is a very good, heartwarming programme. Very simplistic too, you know. Now, His Majesty the King popped up on the repair shop. It's going to be broadcast later this year. And he took in an artefact from the late Queen Victoria to see what they could do with it. But the background story to this is simply this. The reason why His Royal Highness, as he was then, Prince Charles, agreed to the programme was this. It was one of the late Queen's very favourite shows to watch while she was out in Windsor, recovering from Covid, out at Windsor Castle. You know, she watched old movie channels and that and a little bit of news. Also, she enjoyed the weather on the BBC. I think we all do, don't we? <laughs> oh, is that what it's going to be like tomorrow? You know, that sort of thing. And of course, if she was going on an engagement, she needed to know what to take with her. Very clever as ever. But seriously, this apparently is why His Majesty the King, King Charles, agreed to the programme. He wanted to cheer her up and it was going to be a surprise when it was broadcast later this year. She had no idea, in fact, that it agreed to the show or indeed what it taken along to the programme. So for all those naysayers out there that saying they didn't have a good relationship and it was rather fractious, it just proves how caring and how much our wonderful King Charles truly loved his late mother. And can you imagine the surprise if they were sat down together in Windsor? He says, oh, let's watch this. And up he pops, not only that, with an artifact from Queen Victoria. What a wonderful gesture, what a kind heart, and what such a shame that she didn't live to see this brilliant episode. As I say, look out for the transmission details around the world very soon. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.